Happy day. It's time for a children's story. Let's believe and pray. Lord, we thank you for the, for our wonderful Sabbath. And as we are going to read our children's story, Lord, let us understand. In Jesus' name, in Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's welcome our teacher Angela for our children's story. Welcome, teacher Angela. Thank you, Hazel, for welcoming me to our children's story. Happy Sabbath, children. Happy day. Welcome to, to, to today's children's story. And our topic today is going to be mission under a mango tree. There was this one boy, I'll call him Marcos, though not his real name. He was, uh, he was aged 10 years. And he liked coming to church, he liked Sabbath school programs. And then one day, the pastor preached about having stars in crowns when we get to heaven. And the pastor said that when you bring one person to church or to God, when you get to heaven, there will be stars in your crown. So the boy went home and looked at his books and tried to see the picture of different types of crowns. He could see that the crowns were very nice, but there were no stars in it. So he kept wondering, what kind of stars are these that the pastor was preaching about? about? And then he remembered that the pastor said that when you bring a person to church is when, when you get to heaven, it's when your crown will have stars. So he said, I'm not a preacher, I'm not an elder, I'm not a pastor, I'm not an evangelist. How can I bring uh, people to God? So, and I'm just only a child. So this thing troubled him for quite some time. And one time there was a mango just outside their home. He went and sat down there. He liked playing the flute. And as he sat there, there's this song that he liked. Jesus loves me, this I know. See, we all know that song. Can you help me sing it? Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible. Okay, okay, I know now you know the song. So as he was singing the song by blowing his flute, there were four children playing nearby. Hey, they had this nice sound from the flute. So they drew nearer to, to listen where the music was coming from. As they came, the boy was unaware of them, so he continued playing the song for quite some time. By the time he finished and put his flute down, there were four children around him sitting and listening to the song. So the children were so amazed and surprised by the sweet song. They, are, they had never heard it before. So they requested him, will you come tomorrow and play us the same song? And the boy said, yes, I'll come. So the following day, the same time they met there, he played the song for them. Hey, they said, this song is so nice. And he told me, you know what? I even have a Bible story to tell you. So he shared the Bible of David and Goliath with them. Hey, they were so amazed. They were so surprised with such a wonderful story and such a little boy killing a giant. And they kept thinking, how? A little boy killing a giant? We must know where these stories comes from. So they asked him, where do you get these sweet songs and Bible stories? He said, I get them from my church, from my Sabbath school teacher. And then they asked him, will you come, will you, will you take us to your church so that we can also listen to the songs and, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the stories? He said yes. So he promised them that the coming Saturday, he will take them to their church so that they could listen to the, to the songs and the, the Bible stories. So come the following Saturday, he woke up very early prepared himself and left their home and went to that mango tree. He found his friends were waiting for him. 
First, when he played the flute, they were only four. But this Sabbath morning, he found out that there were five children. So they went to church. They met their, they met this. I told the boy will be Marcos. They met Marcos' teacher. He welcomed them. They they sang songs. You know, these boys ne ne had never heard the songs, so they just listened to the children sing. They listened to the teacher telling stories. And when he was about to finish, Marcos requested his teacher to, to retell the, the story about David and Goliath. So he told them the story again. They were so amazed. Then they loved the songs, they loved the story, and they, they promised Marcos that we will be coming to your, to your church to listen to these stories and wonderful songs. And then as time went by, the, the parents of these children wondered, ah, oh, where? Are these children going to every Sabbath morning with Marco? So they tried to find out where these children kept going. And they, they, a certain Sabbath, they followed them to church. And they liked the church program. They liked, first they went to the children when they are, during Sabbath school. They listened to the songs, they listened to the wonderful stories. Then they came to the service. As time went by, they kept coming with their children. And then one time, the pastor made a call for people to be, to be baptized. And to Marco's amazement, his five friends and their four parents were among the 12 who gave their hearts to Jesus. What do you say? OK. Um, and then after the baptism, now the, the pastor said that whoever brought this to church, he will have stars or she will have stars in his or her crown. So Marcos, Marcos was so happy and said, so when I get to heaven, my crown will have stars. And then he counted how many stars he loved. Uh, there were his five friends and their four parents. So how many were there? nine. So he said, I'm going to have nine stars in my crown. I was so afraid that I'm not a preacher, I'm not a pastor, I'm not an elder, but through my singing the song Jesus Loves Me, I have made nine people give their lives to Jesus. So I want to tell you children that as young as we are, there is something that we can do. As the saying goes that a little helps goes a long way. The little things that we do are the ones that are, are going to make our friends join us in church or their parents. Just as Marcos liked singing the song to his friends, the song that Jesus loves me, this I know. And it made their, his friends come to church and also made their parents come to church. And in the little things that we do by sharing Bible stories, sharing the songs we know, memory verses, praying for the sick. Those are the things that are going to help us bring our friends to church as well as their parents. Now, before I finish, I'm going to share with you a verse from 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8. And it says, finally, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have loved his appearing. Amen. Now let's pray to finish our children's sermon. Father Almighty, we thank you for this wonderful Sabbath morning that you have granted us. We thank you for the children's story. We thank you for the story that we have learned about Marcos and how through his singing, through the flute, he made his friends and their parents come to church. We pray that you help us as young children so that in the little things that we do, we may help our friends who don't know you so that they may change their hearts and come to church and know you so that you will come back to us. You'll come back for us and we'll go to heaven where you want to prepare for us. We also pray for our country, Kenya, and all the world about this pandemic of COVID-19. We pray for the sick. Father, we pray that you may give them strength so that they may be able to recover. We pray for the medics. We pray for those who have lost, lost their loved ones. May you comfort them, Father. And when all this is over, your name will be glorified. This is our humble prayer. We pray trusting and believing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.